Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Christmas in July video for y'all. That is why I'm wearing this thrifted sweater and shorts because it is hot outside. Now today's video is going to be Christmas DIYs, but I'm going to be using these piano rolls in every single project. If you have been watching my channel, you know I thrifted, I think, 185 of these and I think they are so beautiful. So although these projects are going to be Christmas themed, I really feel like a lot of the DIYs in this video you could definitely use year round. Now if you are a creator, a maker, a seller, a DIYer, it is about to be our season. I know for me personally, the holiday season is my busiest time of year and I'm so excited because this year is the first time I'm going to have my website during this time. And as y'all know, Squarespace is who hosts my e-commerce store and I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Guys, if you have been thinking of starting a website, this time of the year is the perfect time to try it out. Squarespace is so user friendly. They make it very simple to start a website and they have all the tools that you need to run your business. So I'm actually going to go over all the plans and the pricing that Squarespace has a little bit later in the video. But first, let's get to some Christmas DIYs. I got these huge cardboard tubes for free off the side of the road. I just knew that they would be perfect for a DIY. So I want to cut them down to about 11 inches. Now it ended up being um, a little difficult to cut this with my miter saw because they are so tall. The little safety guard was in the way and my saw couldn't go all the way through and I had to keep turning around. So I think in the end, this would have been something that may have been easier to cut on my table saw. But I did end up managing to get it cut all the way around and so now we are ready to move on to the next step. I'm going to be using DIY's liquid patina for this project. My friend Jackie over at Ruth and Ruby sent me this and I'll have a link in the description below if you are interested in this product. I'm going to be decoupaging this tube. I cut it 11 inches because that is the width of my piano roll. So I'm going to apply a coat of liquid patina and then I'm going to wrap my piano roll around the tube. Once I had the tube covered, I went back over it with the liquid patina. The liquid patina is a great decoupage medium because you can use it to stick your paper down to your surface and then you can go back over it to seal your paper. This was a very quick, simple project and I absolutely love the way that it came out. Now I styled it for Christmas, but I feel like you could definitely leave this out year round. And this is something that I could definitely recreate because I picked up four tubes on the side of the road. So let y'all let me know if y'all are interested in this and I will make some to put up for sale on my website. I have a ton of picture frames in my craft stash, but I thought the wood tone on this one would look good with the piano roll and it was also the perfect size. So I took the backer out of the frame and I want to put the piano roll on top of the backer. However, I do not want to decoupage it down. I want it to be a little bit loose and you'll kind of see that in the end how it turns out. So to do this, what I did was I folded over the piano roll and I'm going to apply a little bit of liquid patina to the backer. And then I'm going to apply the piano roll to one side and then bring it over to the other side, fold it over, and again, apply liquid patina and kind of glue it down to the back. That way the front is a little bit looser. Now, when you are working with the, the piano rolls, guys, they are definitely thinner paper and a little fragile. So you just want to be very gentle with them. I don't want this artwork to have glass, so I'm gonna remove the glass and then put the backer back in that now has the piano roll on it. And when I remove the glass, what I do is I just put the glass in the back of the frame. That way, if later on I wanna redo something with this frame, I still have the glass. 
I finished this artwork off by hanging a piece of mistletoe, but I have so many ideas for this. You could add an IOD stamp, an IOD transfer, you could add a picture, you could add a wreath. You know, just think of the piano roll as a background that you can then add stuff to, but I also think it looks very beautiful on its own. For this next project, I want the paper to be a little bit thicker. So I'm folding it over about 11 inches so that way I can make a square and I'm going to fold it over three times. So now I have a thicker square piece of paper but I really want it to be flat so I used just a tea towel and my iron and just ironed the paper and that actually worked perfectly. I want to create a little envelope so I'm going to turn my paper diagonally and I am going to start folding it. So I'm going to fold the left corner first and then I'm going to fold the right corner. And then I realized I wanted the right corner to show because that's where the wording is. So I'm going to fold the bottom and I'm going to fold the right corner over last. And then I'm just going to use some clear tape just to kind of hold everything in place. And this creates a cute little envelope, perfect to put greenery and berries in. And I just added a little jute twine to the center of it. Now, of course, I styled this for Christmas, but I think this would look amazing year round and you can just change out the greenery with the different seasons. All right, I want to tell y'all a little bit about Squarespace's plans and pricing, but before we jump into it, I want to point out what it says up here. All plans come with 24-hour customer support, and I can tell y'all, after having my Squarespace website for over six months, that 24-hour customer support is absolutely amazing. Squarespace has four different plans for you to choose from, and these are the monthly prices, but guys, you could save up to 30% if you pay annually. So I highly recommend that if you are planning to start your website and Squarespace is giving my viewers 10% off if you use code Julie's designs and signs at checkout. So you could save even more. If you are wanting to start a store, you would want to choose the business plan, the basic commerce plan, or the advanced commerce plan. And if you scroll down, it'll show you all the different options. Now I wanna point out with the business plan, it does charge you 3% on your transaction. So if you're gonna be selling a lot, I would highly recommend upgrading to one of the commerce plans, but it comes with all the extensions that you need to run your business. And as you scroll down, you will be able to see all the different options that each plan has to offer. So if you have been thinking of starting your own website or e-commerce store, now is a great time of the year to do it. So y'all go check out squarespace.com slash Julie's Designs and Signs, and I will have a link in the description below. Y'all definitely, definitely go check it out. Now let's get back to some Christmas DIYs. I actually thrifted this paper mache star. Um, it was somebody else's DIY that they never finished. So I decided I was going to finish it up today. So I'm going to cut and tear up some of the piano roll into smaller pieces. Then I'm going to take my DIY liquid patina. I applied it to the back of my paper and then I applied it to the star. And then I just went back over it with the liquid patina and I continued to do this until the entire star was covered. You could also use, you know, the paper mache mix with um, water and glue. I think it is. I don't know. I'd have to look it up, but this worked fine and it was definitely fun getting a little bit messy. I went on very thick with the liquid patina and I just kept layering it until I got the look that I wanted. And I actually ended up leaving some of the tips of the star white because I kind of liked the difference between the piano roll paper and the white paper mache. The piano roll was actually perfect for this project because the paper is very thin and it rips and tears very easily. I thought it added so much texture and I absolutely love the color. 
I had put the wording off to the side so that way I could apply them last. So I'm just going to cut up the words and I'm going to add them randomly around my store and then this piece will be done. I think this star came out so cute. I absolutely love the texture and the color of the piano roll and I just love the little wording at the top. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this paper mache star. I thrifted this sled who knows how long ago. I started working on it last year, never finished it, so today I'm going to finish it. But I loved the size of it it is a very big sled and i just you can fit a lot in it so the first thing i want to do is remove the metal at the bottom because i think that would look great painted black so i'm just going to take it off i'm going to take it outside and just give it a coat of black spray paint the sled has some texture on it that i just decided to leave because i kind of thought that the paper would cover it up in the end i definitely regretted that decision i should have sanded down this sled really good and tried to start off with an even surface as possible but i really wanted to see how the piano roll paper would look with a red base so i'm going to go ahead and paint both sides of this sled using red chalk paint once my paint was dry, and I only did one coat just because this was a base, I didn't feel like I needed two coats of the red. Anyway, once the paint was dry, I applied the liquid patina to the entire side, and then I placed my piano roll on top of it. So this one has lots of edges, this piece. So what I did was I applied the piano roll, and then I applied my top coat of liquid patina, and then I let it dry. I thought this would be the easiest way to remove all the excess edges and it worked perfectly. So after all my coats of liquid patina was dry, I just went around with a piece of sandpaper and just sanded the edges. And what it did was it removed the excess paper and it distressed the edges a little bit and I absolutely love the way that it ended up looking. Now all I have left to do is I went grab my black metal piece that I had spray painted black and I'm going to attach it back to the sled and then this piece will be done. I think the red base with the piano roll is absolute perfection. I love how this came out. Like I said, the only thing I would change is I would have sanded the piece before I started the project. All right guys, so you can buy these piano rolls and use them for a ton of projects because there is lots of paper on these rolls. But make sure you leave a little bit on the roll because the rolls themselves make beautiful decor. I'm going to tie these two piano rolls together with a little bit of jute twine and some greenery and they look so cute just styled around my home and once again you know i styled it for christmas but this is something you could definitely use year round or you could not even add any greenery just tie them together with some jute rope all right guys what did y'all think about today's video i had so much fun doing some christmas projects it has got me excited and ready for the holiday season so i hope y'all were inspired as well please leave a comment below and let me know what was your favorite project that i created today did y'all love all of the piano rolls what about that tube y'all let me know if y'all would like me to create more of those to sell on the website also if you are interested in doing your own DIYs with piano rolls, I still have plenty available on the website and I will have a link in the description below. Again, I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. They are who hosts my e-commerce store. And if you are interested in starting your own e-commerce store, y'all check out squarespace.com slash Julie's Designs and Signs and make sure you use code Julie's Designs and Signs to get 10% off your first website or domain. Again, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all are inspired to start your own Christmas DIYs. Y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video.